Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel for Lost Moss, where everything philosophical is discussed. Now, I was just listening to like some, I won't, I won't say it's meditation music, but it, it has that sound. Uh, the artist is Peter B. Helland. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, the song is called Always. So, I tend to listen to the song every morning because it gives me like a nostalgic look on life and it gives me like a broader perspective of my existence and you know, it's a sweet sense of happiness with the tinge of pain and I always felt like that was one of the best feelings you could ever experience is the sense of having a deeper level of happiness that's inclusive of a little mixture of pain. I don't mean like the amount of pain that we normally experience as human beings, which will be slowly but surely eradicated the more we grow in our consciousness. Um, but right now we still have a lot of pain but essentially what we can get ourselves to right is having pure bliss in the background of our experience with just the tinge of pain to make it more like profound like when you're looking towards your past when you're looking back at your past you recognize just how good you had it. You recognize just how blissful life was. I mean, of course, we can say scientifically your brain is just looking for the good things in, in a situation. But I think everything, when you look back, like, especially in like good times, of course, if you're looking back at the right things, then you realize just how good like life was and just how like you're always supported you're always supported everything turned out all right here you are and you know just looking at the present moment as well just how much potential you have at this moment and how much potential the future holds for me it's just poetically beautiful and when i listen to the song it, it, it really helps me um, see my life from a broader perspective and it helps me understand uh, which is what I'm going to talk about today is like as a man in this society it's like it's programmed in my mind to you know work and um, I think it's a program every human being has but for me i've taken it on because i believe when you work hard you always reap what you sow you know so if you're working extra hard then that is going to translate into uh, something beneficial for you especially if it's hard work over accumulated time doing what you're supposed to do for you i feel that you know it's the best way for you to move closer to material wealth and material wealth is not a bad thing like in spir spirituality and religion you know there's this contemporary idea that having material wealth is a bad thing like there's something innately wrong with having a lot of money or having a lot of chances to travel the world and see different kinds of places have very nice cars have very nice phones it's seen as bad and I can understand why because when you're fixated on that then it becomes poisonous to your soul however material wealth is still a reflection it's still a reflection of the inner world so you can still experience wealth material wealth and still have spiritual wealth too 
that is possible. And just imagine how amplified your experience becomes. Because when you're, you, when you don't have a lot of money, when you're broke, right? And you have spiritual wealth, that's, it's good. You, you don't complain, you, you, you're satisfied with where you are in life. You're growing and you're evolving as well. And yeah, it, it, it's, it still has potency. But just imagine if you had spiritual wealth and you had material wealth to back that up. You can now see all different kinds of places in the world. You can meet all different kinds of people who have this energetic presence that you are now cultivating. You know, now you can like do things that you really wanted to do from the bottom of your heart and from the bottom of your imagination. Like if you wanted to like take a dive uh, into like the ocean, if you wanted to like, I don't know, visit a, a forest like in South America, like there are infinite things to do, like take a train in London or like go to the Eiffel Tower or like going to the most remote islands in this world or perhaps going to the moon if you could, you know, like so much gets open, so many experiences are available when you have material wealth that then adds to your spiritual wealth if used in the correct way of course so 